A West International Partners is a volunteer organisation registered in Portugal. We have two main objectives. Firstly, since many of our members are keen to share with others their professional skills and experience, as well as their hobbies, we aim to benefit local communities through organised volunteer projects. Secondly, we aim to bring together members of all the international communities in the OS region from which our membership is drawn. We're pleased to welcome you to our new project, Let's Cook. This is a light-hearted cookery series with a difference. Each week on Thursday evening at 7pm, a different home chef will share with you their love of cooking by showing you how to make typical dishes from their home country. We're going to introduce you to home chefs from several different countries living here in the OS region. They'll present dishes typical of Chinese, Dutch, French, Portuguese and Russian cuisine, for example. But we have many more national cuisines to share with you. Every Tuesday, we'll advertise to let you know which cuisine will be presented the following Thursday. If you enjoy watching the Let's Cook presentations, you might consider making a donation to support one or more of our many projects, which include helping the day centres for the elderly and helping the homeless and disadvantaged communities in the OS region. Here are our bank details and the name on the account is OS International Community Volunteers and please put Let's Cook in the reference. If you'd be interested in making today's dishes, then here's the list of the ingredients you'd need, together with the method you should follow. So, sit back and enjoy. And now, let's cook. Yeah. Hello everybody, my name is Joseph Poon, and welcome to this episode of Let's Cook. Since today is such a beautiful sunny day, and in Portugal we all enjoy, and that's why I set it up specially today, in the mobile kitchen, in my outside kitchen, there's a mobile one. And I have to say, this beautiful structure is made by Mr. Yang, Fred Yang. So we can do that. And uh, so today, my course will be what I will prepare to you is a starter, it's called the lettuce wrap. And then afterwards, I will do the main course with the three dishes. And this is all the technique I use today is the stir fry. And I will share some of my personal experience and a bit of a secret. But for the stir fry, before I cooking, for the stir fry, the technique is special. The stir fry is because it's a, you use a single ring and it's fast. The time to do is to preparation, but obviously you need to not only fast, but we need to understand all your ingredients, but later, when I start cooking, then I will go into a bit more further, yeah? Okay, for our starter, I make it, it's going to be making it a, a lettuce wrap, which can be used as a starter, but also you can use it as a main cause of snack. What it is, the ingredient is very simple. It's the, you can use a minced chicken, minced beef or minced pork. But today I use the minced pork and also I have some home grow kosher and you can see I cut it very very fine and I explain it to you later and for the sauce I use you can get it in a cow dish it's the spare rib sauce yeah and for the seasoning because the stir fry the main characteristic of stir fry is the natural flavor so we don't need to use a lot, a lot of seasoning. So what I use is sugar and salt, and that's it. And then, but also, if you have any particular personal favor you like, you can always add into it. And that is the beauty of the stir fry. So the first, I'm seasoning the pork. This is about half kilos of pork, it can be used easily for two, four or six people, right? You can season it, you can season it beforehand, but for the purpose this time, I season it today, now, right? So you don't use the up, just one teaspoonful level of salt. 
and the same amount of sugar. Right, so we just mix it. And for the stir fry, because it is very quick, so that means you need to know your ingredient well because the difference from the Western cooking. Western cooking, you often put a lot of things all together, but if you do stir fry, you have to understand your ingredient. So, which one to put in first and which one to put in last is based on your understanding. Okay, so I just mix it and if you like chili, you can put some chili. But since, yeah, so we put some oil. And this stove is readily available in Cowdish Monday market and you can get it for about 30-35 euro for that. Okay, so once it's just some oil and what we do then when the oil is slightly hit, hotted so we can put the meat pot in. And you just keep breaking it up because the mince pork or the mince, once they cook, they will be separated themselves slowly. Yeah. And this is a very easy meal, and the children like it. And also in the summer, is an excellent meal, particularly after a round of golf. This is going to be quick and easy. Yes, I think in the summer cooking outside is uh, a pleasure. Okay, later I will add the kosher cut. The main reason is if I add it at the same time, then the kosher will be overcooked. Because for stir fry, the most important thing is it shall never be overcooked because it's so easy so easy because you used to to cook for one hour half an hour but this is talking about so you can see it's uh, getting really cooked about 70 percent cooked then you can add the kosher into it because the kosher and the meat not only a bit more healthy but also in terms of appetite, in terms of looking and smell. Because any meal, it should look nice, smell nice, and then taste nice. Yeah, so you can see it's all makes it nicely. Right, this one is very easy because Right, so when it's really done, then what you need to do, this is the spirit sauce, which will save us a lot of time. We can put for half kilo, you put two spoonful or teaspoonful. And that's sufficient. So, and that's done. Okay, but in our surface, this is what you need to cut your lettuce. It's into a size like this. So you can put it in and wrap it and the rest of the lettuce you can use it for decoration. So for 10 minutes 
you already have your starter ready from the beginning to the end okay now after the starter and now I'm starting the main course and in the main course I'm going to do three things one is I'm going to do the chicken with the onion with the oyster sauce and a bit of chili the second one I will do a different mixed vegetable and the third one I will do you the ludo so but anyway one by one the first is I always like to cook with the whole chicken and I like to bone it ourselves myself why because in this way I'm sure the chicken I eat is not contaminated and I know everything and I can actually will act you separate this into a three dishes so to dissect to bone a chicken is very easy but you need to have a very, very sharp knife and I'm very lucky my good friend Mr. Yang when we worked in medieval he bought me this beautiful sharp knife because he was pity I did not have a sharp one so the first we're going to take that bone out so you, you push it back then it, you just follow the curve and it just come out and then the second one the other side Third, we bisect it in the middle. If you cut, you can feel the bones in the middle. So you, you cut one side. Yeah. And then you follow the, the bones and you can feel, you go through it. And the same for the next, the other side. Okay, once you do, so the bones come out, the whole meat is in your hand, And your carcass, I will use it for my soup noodle later. So you will have a nicely cut breast. Okay, and then a two leg. So for the leg, if you do the coarse cut on the bone, so you can see then the bones, you can just bone it. And the drumstick, you hold this side. And then you do the side bit. Yeah, and then it will come out. pieces now. So all these bones is all for the later. Right, 
So you dissect it just up close. Obviously, there's a many different way of how to boom the chicken. And it just happened, this is the way I feel very easy and it worked for me. And for the skin, I think somebody likes the chicken skin, somebody don't. But always it's a good favor if you can. I think if you have to cook, then you know the chicken fat is very, very useful. Okay, now, what it left is going to be, I'm going to cut it. The first, for the first meal, because I'm going to use the onion and chicken, so I tend to cut it in a cube, because for the presentation it's very useful. Okay. Yeah. So I cut it in a cube, and then also then you will notice. Then everything have to be together. So my onion also is cut in cube, not in a slice, because then the whole things as a whole dish will look together. And I always cut one piece a little bit bigger than the others. I show you the reason why I'm doing that. Because as I said in the very beginning, the first thing we don't we worry, we do not want to do is to overcook. And uh, I understand in the normal kitchen you may have a thermometer to test the temperature. But for stir fry, you don't have that chance. So, the one big piece is, is to help you to test are they cooked or just in the right time. Yeah, so, so I use half of the chicken for the dish I'm going to make, the chicken, and then I leave those. Okay, and uh, so I cut the others. For the mixed vegetable, I'm going to use a slice. Because the mixed vegetable will be in the bigger pieces, and that's why I slice them so that will go together in terms of presentation, it will be much nicer. Okay, but for the rudo, I'm going to cut it in strip because as we know the rudo is a long and strip so For the mixed vegetable, I tend to mainly use the chicken breast because it's white, so it will look very appealing. Yeah, so really, one chicken and we can do three dishes. That is not bad, isn't it? So in terms of seasoning, I will use the same. So that means it's for the chicken, so I only use because only half chicken, so I use about three quarter. For the vegetable, I only use a little bit, and then for the noodle, it's also the half. And then I use the same amount of the sugar. chicken with the onion, I put a bit of uh, chili, chili flake, which is for my garden. 
but obviously you can season them a day before or a few hours before. But today I just, you know, sort of do it really. It's just uh, in terms of demonstration, it's easier to, to do it. Yeah? So we just mix it. Yeah, what a beautiful day today. Yeah. And also, as you notice, I put the Let's Cook aprons on today. And this is specially designed by our organization. And we will try to sell some of them so in order to raise some fund for our production costs. Yeah, and this apron is specially designed and it costs a, a 15 euro each. But it's um, it's very only a limited addition so if you want it you can PM us then okay before I start cooking the main course let's go through again for one chicken I'm going to make in three dishes one is this is chicken half the chicken breasts and a chicken leg together and this is for with the onions and the seasoning is salt pepper with a little bit of a, a chili fig and later I will add in is the oyster sauce and also the dark soy sauce and the light soy sauce. The second one I do is with the mixed vegetable and I only use the chicken breasts because the color and it will look nice with the green together. So the red meat, I save it for the noodles. If the hot is getting slowly hot, And you can put some oil and I put three slices of ginger but it depends on how much you like it yeah and also one of the trick is if you like hot food then it's hotter if you put the chili flakes in it now because when it burn a little bit then it will be a much hotter Instead to put it inside, the whole thing so you can see it's hot, so let it cook a little bit. Yeah, you can see the ginger is seasoning, and then you add your chicken in. Yeah, people will think, ah, chicken with onion, why don't I put onion in first? Also, it's another thing is because the onion has a lot of water. So once it cooks, the onion will become mashy, but we don't want that. Right, so you can see it is cooking quite quickly. Yeah, you have to wait until it's more or less 80% cooked before you add uh, other into it and other ingredients. So you, you want to speed up because sometimes your stove uh, may not be as hot. So you can put a lid on and it just increase the intensity of the heat. And for stir fry, I find because in the supermarket you can get a three different sizes: 26 centimeter, uh, 28, and 30. And I think the 28 is the best centimeter because because it's just the right amount for for you to cook up to eight people. Yeah, so once all the outside the pink bit, you can see are turned into white. Then you will add the onion. Yeah, so you can see. I do not use other vegetables because for the presentation, and I think it's nice white meat with onion because then it looks 
refreshing, particularly in the summer, but then you can add different vegetables or even you can add food, for example, like um, apple or pear, right? The main piece of chicken, I make it, cut it thicker because when you cut it open, then you can see if your chicken is cooked or not. So once it's low paint and that's cooked. Right, right to your final bit. I'm going to add right so I can see 90% cooked now so I add the last things in. So what I do is I will add some oyster sauce. Yeah. And then I will add some, this is the dark sauce sauce, mainly for color. So, but not be too generous, just a little bit you do. Yeah. And then I use the lime sauce sauce. This one's my special one because there's some chili in it. Okay, so you can see the color change. Okay, so one done. Okay, so you see now it's done. Nice and easy. Now you can see. Okay, now we go into our the second dish for the main course. So we start it's the same with few slices of ginger, a bit of oil, so wait to heat up, yeah, I think uh, if you've been to a Chinese restaurant then you realize uh, traditionally for the Chinese meal we don't have one meat, one course, normally we will have one or two meat courses and one vegetable and then rice or ludo and sometimes if it's more elaborate we have fish so it's not unusual and also we put everything in the middle so everybody to try right so this one now i'm cooking is the chicken with mixed vegetable so first i will cook the chicken first stir fry is supposed to be very healthy meal so it's how healthy you are, it's up to you. So the first is like the chicken fat. It is why it's a good flavor, but it does contain a bit more fat. And secondly, with the seasoning, because the plates are in the middle, so all the, all the sugar and the salt will be mainly on the sauce. So if you don't finish all your sauce at the end, then you don't have the intake of the of the sugar and the salt when we do the seasoning. So what I'm trying to say is, it is in your control how you want to do it or how healthy you want it to be. Yeah. And also to stir fry, it is very very healthy because it is quick, so all the vitamins still there. Right to cook this dish. When the chicken is about 70% 70, 70 cooked, because you can tell, because they are already thin, then you put it out first, because otherwise it will be overcooked. And then you will put the mixed vegetable, I choose is monsu, beans, and kosher, but they cut it in a much bigger, so I will use some of the beans because the beans later I use it a bit more for the noodles. Right, I will cook the bean first. Why, you say? Because, because the beans take longer time. Again, it's your knowledge about the vegetables you use. 
they need to be because the pain is harder and then the monster and then the kosher because I try to demonstrate to you by your understanding that everything will be just right. Okay, so the beans is is half percent done, so I'm going to add the monster. And this goat is very good. And as I say, you can uh, get it from the Cowfish Monday market. Uh, it's a story. I paid 35 euro and my friend paid 30 euro. So that means you can bargain the price. So you can see the green and I add the crochet now. So the crochet, I cut it in half because when you stir fry vegetable, you want to see it. Yeah, so you can see the green and the white. Right, so in this one, you just add a little bit of salt. And the oyster sauce, flavor sauce is always is good. It, it's not a strong flavor sauce, but actually it keeps the gross looking. Yeah, and it's really done. So you can see how quickly, and a touch of a soy sauce, light soy sauce, because the dark soy sauce is tend to be too dark and deprives the color. Okay, and now it's done. Ah, no, 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 I really say, but I forgot the chicken. Now you add the chicken back in. So you can see. So that is a beautiful looking dishes. Nice and healthy. Okay, before we go to the, the last dishes, just in case you did not catch it closely, it's about the sauces I use. The first one is the oyster sauce, a favorite sauce. You can get, as I say, all this in cow dish. And this is excellent. Normally, I use it for the meat and also for the vegetable. And it's just nice little favor. And the second one is the dark soy sauce, which is a bit sweeter. So, and this is the light soy sauce, and it's, uh, this is a bit more salty. So, that's why so often we use two together, but then where the dark soy sauce is always much more darker color. So, it's about presentation again. Otherwise, you can substitute with the light soy sauce with beer sugar. The last one is the spirit sauce. So, if you cook any pork, whatever, for barbecue, for anything, this cannot be wrong. So it's worth to to cook, and then the final one is I do I like a bit of chili. So when I home cook chili, I use the chili, and I add the light soy sauce in it, and you can refill it many times. And this one have been using for about two years, and it still keep nice flavor. Okay, move on to our last dish. This will be a chicken chow mein, or really it's a chicken fried noodle, and the noodle. I use the spaghetti because uh, thanks for Marco Polo, he actually introduced the Chinese noodle into Italy and we can get it easily. So, and this is very much like the Shanghai noodle. So, for this one, the first, as, right, it's hot. So, the first we do the chicken, as I mentioned before, it is in a strip. So it will, in a sense, is go with the noodle. Yeah, but because it's a strip, so that means it will cook much faster than before. Yeah, the first dish with the onion, so the chicken take a little bit longer time. The second one, because it's a thin slice, so it's a shorter time. 
and this one will be even shorter. So again, as I said before, it very much depends how much you need to aware what you're cooking, and that makes a difference between a good stir fry and an overcooked burn stir fry. Yeah, so you can see it goes brown, it goes white very quickly. And as I say again, then depends how strong is your fire. Okay, so if that's done, so I put that one side. So mainly it's, I don't want it to be overcooked, right? The second one, then I add a bit of beans. And I'm very proud of these beans because all the vegetables I use today, I grow it in my garden, just behind me. Yeah, it's a nice and fresh, and it was, I harvested yesterday, especially for today. So, it is lucky for me and the production team, and we will taste it, and you just have to be watched, that's all. Yeah. So the second one, I add noodles. Yeah, because I don't add the the courgette too quickly, just in case it's overcooked, right? So all the juice from the chicken, I put it back in. Right, and now. I add the courgette. So you can see the sequence is very much about how much you understand your vegetable. Right. And then I will add a touch of the oyster flavor sauce. So really give it a bit of a gloss and a little bit of flavor. Right. So in order to intensify the heat, I put the lid on. And afterwards, then I just add some light soy sauce and a little bit, maybe a touch of the, the salt. And if you like hot thing, then you can put a bit of chili. So it's going to be ready for now because this is a very powerful one. And now, if you like hot things, you can add chili, you can add coriander, you can eat, add any seasoning you want. Yeah, when you hear the sizzling, and it's nice. And I add a little bit of soy sauce, just a dash. Just also a bit of color. Yeah, I don't like a too dark thing, but I know somebody does. If somebody do, then you can add the dark soy sauce. So now you can see the vegetable is look nice. Now I add the chicken, and then again this one. When you go home, when you're in a rush, or you can cook within 10 minutes. So you, you prepare something beforehand. Okay, now it's done. So that will be even a meal on its own. So you've got a nice chicken flavor and all look very appealing. I yeah, hope you enjoy this episode. And if you enjoy it, and if you help to help our production costs, you can donate some money or you can buy the aprons. Thank you again. Thank you for watching.